Today I'm going to be reacting to commercials, television adverts for a Canadian beer. These are called I Am Canadian commercials, so I guess it's part of a series of commercials for this beer company. Uh, you see the beer here, it's called Molson Canadian. I'll be honest, I've never actually heard of Molson Canadian. I don't know if they sell it here in Malaysia. I've just never seen the bottle before. I've got to say, it's a fantastic label. I love the maple leaf on there. Canadian is pride of place here, bold letters. But yeah, I've got to say, I've never tasted the beer. I would love to try, of course, I love beer. I'm from Scotland, alcohol is, yeah. I mean, that's just part of our culture also, but tell me what, tell me more about the beer itself. How is it, how does it taste? Are you, is it something you drink often? Is it something that's popular outside of Canada? Do you know? Have you ever seen it in a, a country outside of Canada? I may try and find it here or try and get it imported here so I can make a video and try it. Uh, but yeah, tell me what your thoughts. Is it very popular in Canada? Is this what all Canadians like to drink or what? Uh, but these commercials, I love watching old commercials, get that nostalgia feeling. Uh, and I mean, if it's about beer, beer commercials are always good, no matter what country, what company, they always find some interesting concepts. So let's check this out and we can see what these ones. <laughs> so you're from Canada? Yeah. Do you know Glenn from Canada? He works in an office in Canada. He plays hockey. You know, he says A a lot. <laughs> of course, Office Glenn. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is the way to end that converse conversation. So I don't know if these are all going to be things like working on that relationship between America and Canada. Here we've got that one, which is something I get here in Malaysia. When people ask me, oh, you're from Scotland, if they know anybody Scottish, they ask, Oh, there's a, he's from here. Do you think? Do you know him? Like this sort of thing. You're like, of course not. But I mean, that's even worse. That is Canada such a huge country geographically that people would ask things like that? But I guess like it's shown that maybe Americans think Canada's smaller than it is. They don't really realize how big the country is. So yeah, another good one, man. I like that, especially just running. For the first time ever, the United States has become the first nation to walk on the moon. He said I was going to try and get this golf ball. Huh? Yes. Oh, damn. <laughs> Jeez. Uh-oh. Ottawa, we have a uh, problem here. <laughs> I am Canadian! <laughs> Sorry about that, eh? Nice. <laughs> I mean, that one was, like, really, I like, there's so much little things about that that I enjoyed. Of course, the, the hockey, bringing that in, the Canadian sport, Canada's favourite sport. But it, I like how they included an apology there as well to show that other uh, Canadian stereotype of Canadians always apologising. But yeah, just getting on with it and drinking beer. Uh, so yeah, tell me more about, do you remember these commercials when they were on TV? Is this like a hugely popular series of adverts or is this uh, this beer company known for this set of adverts, this set of commercials? So I hear you're from Canada. Yeah. I How's know. it going, eh? <laughs> Do you want a donut? <laughs> I mean, I thought Americans were known for donuts more than uh, Canadians. I thought all they had up in Canada were uh, lumberjacks and curlers. <laughs> Is there running water up there? <laughs> Where's your tube, gay? Tube? New dude beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Canadian. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so that's showing that Canadians, as much as they're nice and polite, they can get on it, man. Which I learned in that Canadians change when they hear the word war. Of course, that wasn't war. But what I like about that is it was... The American was like using all these um, like Canadian stereotypes to try and take the piss out of the Canadian, but inadvertently he was being like a cari caricature or like a stereotype of Americans being like brash, being rude, having no like no filter. Like, so it's interesting you see like him using stereotypes to try and abuse him, but he is a stereotype himself, which. Is an interesting uh, way of framing that. I'm cold in Canada. 
If you're framing that uh, advert, let's turn this up a bit. Live by it. Chances are you've left your coat on some pile and knew it wouldn't get stolen. You've never made a move on your buddy's girlfriend. You know that on a road trip, the strongest bladder determines the pit stops. You've kept all your <laughs> hockey trophies. You've replaced someone's pint if you knock theirs over. If your buddy's in trouble, you've got his back. You clap for the dancer even though she shouldn't be a dancer. You've used a blowtorch <laughs> to curve your stick. You've used your arm as an ice scraper. And you've grown a beard in the postseason. This is our beer, Molson Canadian. <laughs> that was good man, I like the music getting more intense as the, the, the examples of being Canadian become like even more crazy but that one scraping the windscreen of the snow brings back a lot of nightmares for me being Scottish. Obviously I've lived in Asia for the last 10 years and it's countries like Thailand, China which was quite cold as well but Malaysia, very hot, doesn't snow. I forgot all about that having to go out in the morning and scrape my car when it's icy and frosty. That is one of the most depressing things, man. Tell me if that is a common occurrence during Canadian winters, man. Out there in the dark, scraping your windscreen. Not a fun experience, man. Now my only thing I worry about with regards to the weather here in Malaysia is if I should wear shorts or trousers, man. That's the hardest decision I have to make. An unwritten it's just hot all, hot all the time. Our beer, Molson Canadian. There's an unwritten code in Canada. If you live by it, chances are you have a hockey scar somewhere. You've gone on a road trip with a car that had no business going on a road trip. You're proud to know a girl who got jiggy with a pro hockey player. You feel <laughs> kind of bad reclining your seat in an airplane. You've used a cheesy pick. Okay, man. I've just got to say two things already. I'll put that back a little bit. The, the re reclining the chair on an airplane. I must be Canadian because I absolutely hate that. I feel so, not when other people do it, I don't mind if people recline in front of me, but I feel so bad reclining. I've never heard anybody else say that. Even my wife, she'll just recline straight away or like as soon as she can. Me, I hate to put the other person out behind me and make them uncomfortable. So I never recline my chair, even like flying back to the UK. It can be like 13 hours, whatever, man, long flights. I'll just keep it upright, which is just a bit crazy. But the one about the female always saying about being with a hockey player, is that something that's common? Like, is there people who talk about that? Like, same in the UK, you get women who are females that, like, talk about being with footballers and things. Is it the same for hockey in Canada? Pro hockey player, you feel kind of bad reclining your seat in an airplane. You've used a cheesy pickup line only because your buddy dared you. You fill your friend's mind before your own. You think hockey tape can fix anything. You've gotten kicked out of somewhere and you've turned down a booty call in the postseason. This <laughs> is our beer, Molson Canadian. Yeah, tell me those last two videos were kind of big lists of things that maybe are stereotypes of Canadians. Again, tell me if you did any of them, if, if you relate to any of them. There's an unwritten code in Canada. If you live by it, chances are you've driven an hour for 19 minutes of ice time. You've been to a bar that starts with Mick or ends in Anigans. You appreciate a woman who's into sports. You'll call anyone with goalie equipment a friend. You know what a J-stroke is. And sometimes figure skating is worth watching. You know the sippy cup lid isn't as dumb as it sounds. You've worn a canoe as a hat. You've assembled the barbecue. And they're not dense, they're goals. This is our beer, Molson Canadian. <laughs> A lot, I like all these hockey things, man. These are very specific, again, like traveling so far just for a short hockey period. Uh, what's that sippy cup thing, the, the lid that was on a beer? But that looks like, yeah, like the thing you put on a child's cup. I've never seen that before, actually. So tell me more about that. Uh, yeah, again, tell me if, if you relate to any of those points. There's an unwritten code in Canada. If you live by it, chances are you've overcome bad directions to find your friend's cottage. You know what happens on the ice stays on the ice. You've come face to face with some kind of freaky bird. You hold a pint with all five fingers, and it's never okay to rub another man's rhubarb. You know the last. Wait, rub another man's rhubarb? What does that mean? Is that like a. Like. <laughs> I don't even know what to With all five fingers, and it's never okay to rub another man's rhubarb. You know the last box in is the first to get unpacked. Your soap smells like soap. You've guesstimated a phone number. You've cooked with a flashlight, and you recycle. This is our beer, Molson Canadian. <laughs> yeah, the one that was interesting about hockey there is it was like, obviously the two it must have been two competitors. I'm guessing they probably had a fight, and they said they'd just like leave it at that, and then they can get on with it. That's one thing I... 
have learned about hockey that I really enjoy is as much as the fights and the, the aggressive sort of nature of it can look quite violent and can be quite crazy, it's like the most gentlemanly sport. When you see how they actually arrange the fights on the hockey rink and they, ha- they have a good old scrap punching here and there, but then afterwards they're just like, okay, we've settled our differences, we're all good. You don't see that in any, any other sport, man. It's fantastic. 36% of Canadian hockey fans think players should be allowed to have more liberal curves on their stick. <laughs> Scoop. Oh, nice. I like it. Now, that is that is a great Canadian invention. Brilliant. <laughs> we agree with them. Brilliant. I need one of those. Hey guys, look what I found. Beer, 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 bubble, beer, beer, beer. Oh, when we get together, just me and all the lads. Everyone remembers <laughs> all the fun we've had. Cause every time we gather, there's plenty of good cheer. Imagine finding meat. That calls for a bubble beer. Introducing the Molson <laughs> Bubble. 14 bottles of beer, big and perfect for any occasion. Yeah. What I think I, I love about these is it's such a like variety of different ads. Of course, there was a couple similar ones in the middle there with the list, but the rest of them have all been very unique and got their own personality, but all very funny as hey, well. Hey, coach. Listen, I can't play today. I'm really sick. <coughs> you two? We're about to play Canada! I can't. I'm sick. Gotta go. Good luck. Don't want to do it, man. Canadian, please. Ooh, Mr. Canadian. Mr. Canuck. <gasps> Where's your pet beaver? <laughs> no way, man. Oh my god. That is, that is unreal, man. A beaver attacking a man. That is fantastic stuff. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm not a lumberjack or a fur trader. And I don't live in an igloo or eat blubber or own a dog sled. And I don't know Jimmy, Sally, or Susie from Canada, although I'm certain they're really, really nice. I have a prime minister, not a president. I speak English and French, not American. And I pronounce it about, not a boot. I can proudly sew my country's flag on my backpack. I believe in peacekeeping, not policing. Diversity, not assimilation. And that the beaver is a truly proud and noble animal. The tooth is a hat. The Chesterfield is a coach. And it is pronounced Zed. Not Z, Z. Z, Z I agree. Bro, I want to be Canadian. Thank you. Man, I want to be Canadian after watching that, man. That was getting more and more like uplifting and powerful as it went on. Just smashing all those Canadian stereotypes. Uh, but yeah, man, that was a great series of commercials. All funny, I love the connection with hockey. I mean, obviously, maybe trying to target those hockey fans so they've got their, their beer of choice for watching the match. But I love how it plays on those Canadian stereotypes and, and just, like, dismisses them all. And, like, it's just very proudly Canadian. It really, like, got me feeling proud, even though I'm not from Canada and I've just been, like, watching videos about Canada. I've become, like, such a huge fan. Uh, fan and lo- I love the country Canada, there's just so much that's amazing about it and I feel like this set of commercials really like encapsulated a lot of you know, like greatness about uh, Canada as well. Uh, tell me what your favourite from all of those commercials was, tell me what your memories of these were and tell me if you drink the beer, I'm going to look for one and try and buy it. Thanks.